The Badger Airbrush High Roller Trigger is a taller trigger than the standard trigger as can be seen with these two airbrushes here. This is the Patriot 105 with the standard trigger. This is the Patriot Extreme which comes as standard with the high roller trigger fitted. You can actually see the difference in the sizes here and the standard trigger for the Patriot is part number 50019 and the high roller trigger is 50019HR. Now the high roller trigger fits many of the models of the Badger range. This includes, as we've said, the Patriot 105s comes fitted as standard to the Extreme 105. It also fits the Anthem 155, the SOTAR 2020, the Chrome, the Velocita, the Spirit, the Rage and models 100 and 150. The actual trigger as can be seen here with my finger, my finger is sitting fairly well level and because we've got the taller trigger this helps with the leverage on the needle as you only need to move it a small amount before the, the needle does actually move and on the standard my finger is sitting well below the edge of the cup. Uh, the fitting and removal of the high roller trigger uh, is as always we remove the needle first and then it is just a case of lift the standard trigger out, pull the back lever back place the trigger in and as a rule of thumb to make sure the trigger is fitting correctly a vertical line through the trigger and through the centre of the air valve and then just very gently push down and you will feel, feel the hair valve working. Replace the needle as always gently until it just stops and tighten the needle chuck and that's the fitting of the high roller trigger. As you can see now my finger is very well in line with the top of the paint cup and that is the high roller trigger as opposed to the standard trigger. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, turn notifications on so you don't miss future content.